Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Route 66. So there are so many ways to play this. Um, Chuck Berry plays it in B flat. Uh, the John Mayer plays it in G. Nat King Cole, who made it famous, played it in G. Asleep at the Wheel plays it in F. I tend to play it in C. My companion video plays this in C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all those different versions and I'm going to kind of mix it up and uh, show you what I'm doing. So this is how I play it in the key of C and then I will uh, break everything down and then show you how to move it all around so you can play with anybody you like to. So here we go. Well, if you have land to travel west, travel my way, take the highway, that's the best. Get your kicks on Route 66. Well, it winds from Chicago to LA. More than two thousand miles all the way. Get your kicks on Route 66. Well, it goes to St. Louis, down to Missouri. Oklahoma City looks so, so pretty. You'll see Amarillo and Gallup, New Mexico. Flags of Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingman, Boston, San Bernardino. So that's how I do it. So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. They're wound electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube. And I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. I've got the uh, reverb turned up a little more than I normally do just because uh, this is a great song for that. So at the nut, we have G. So when we do this in open G, we're going to be doing a little rock and roll rhythm right here in open G. So open G. G sharp, A, B flat. And in the Chuck Berry version, we'll be here. And B flat, B and C. We're in C, and that's where my version steps in. C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. In my version, this is an important chord. I play it down here, but you can certainly play it here on this 10th fret. And then G again up here on the 12th fret. So F, F sharp, G, G up here. You can play it up here as well or open. So it's all up to you, or you can play a G this way. So this song is a one, four, five song. In this version, in the, in the Uncle Mark way, C is the one chord, F, is the four chord, G is the five chord, you can certainly play the G open. There are other ways to play these chords, F can be played this way, five, three, five, G can be played this way, seven, five, seven, and it looks like so. But uh, teaching you, I'm just gonna move my fingers up to here, so C, F, and G, and if you look, you can see where the dots are, C is here, F is right above that dot, right there, and uh, the two dots there is G. So, in C, if you ever plan to motor west, I'm still on C, go to F, travel my way, take the highway back to C, that's the best. Get your kicks, hit, hit, on route. Hit, hit, 66, back to C. Well, it winds, go to F, Chicago to L.A. More than F, 2,000 miles on the way. Going to 12, get your kicks on route F, 66. One hit. It goes through St. Louis, down to Missouri, Oklahoma City looks oh so pretty, F, you'll see Amarillo, 
see Gallup, New Mexico, G. Flagstaff, Arizona, don't have, don't forget Winona, Kingman, Barstow, San Bernardino, won't you F get hit to this kindly tip? F and take that California trip. that rock and roll rhythm if you want. So also something else you can do, if you have a fretless, you could put your fret on and be, uh, if you ever travel motor west, you can travel the highway that's the best. Right, so you can kind of okay. So you can do that so many different ways. That's in the key of C, and it's one, four, five. If you want to play along with the Nat King Cole version, that is in open G. Okay, and it's got a lot of Nat King Cole played piano, and it's got a lot of piano stuff in it. So you got to remember, you're going to be kind of just jiving along here with this uh, open G. Well, if you ever see land travel west, travel my way, there's a C again, take the highway, that's the best. D, get your kicks on Route 66. So that's a D and that's a C. And that's really all you're doing. And if you uh, were on fretless and you're playing this, you can put it on your pinky if you want. We'll do that this time. Have you wine see from Chicago to LA? You can see where I'm at on the frets. More than 2,000 miles along the way. Get your kicks. D, C. If you want a little rock and roll rhythm, you can do that. Even with your fretless, you can hit that, as long as you make sure you hit where the fret marker would be. So the John Mayer version is the same way in open G. Uh, the Chuck Berry way, which I really, really, really like, okay? I am really a big fan of this version. And it's in B flat, and B flat is here. So it's G, G sharp, A, B flat. So the chords are B flat, okay, D sharp, and F. So B flat with a rock and roll rhythm. Well, if you ever land the travel west, travel my way, take the highway, that's the best. Catch your kicks. I like this B flat is because you can do that Chuck Berry lick. Okay? And if you want, there's a really neat little Chuck Berry trick where you can go. So what you're going to do is, is take this A note, so G, G sharp, A, and you're going to bend it up to B flat. And then play that B flat. Just like you would a Johnny B. Good lick. You can also do that. Then there's a wonderful little lick with this note here. So it's G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, right here. So you can give it a Chuck Berry vibe, and I, I think that's just very cool. Um, the stops, so say we're in the Chuck Berry version, the stops 
on Route 66. You don't need to put the stops in it. I just really like the stops. I'm one of these guys that likes to break a song up. And uh, when this is something that I do when I perform, if I notice my audience is kind of leaving and going into their phones, a stop brings them back a little bit, just a little bit, just enough to bring them back and get them re-engaged. Uh, I really like stops for that, so I plan on using songs that have stops in them every three or four songs because it's really hard to engage your audience, especially with modern phones. It's, it's, hard, it's hard for me to get off of my phone, so I understand how it works with everybody else. But this is a great song for that. Perfect Americana. It's a great tune for around the campfire. It's a good driving song. Anything you feel like doing with it, it's just a fantastic tune. And uh, I love, love it in C. So take a look at my companion video. I do a little soloing. And, and in C, you're up here. There's your C. You can do that little Chuck Berry riff in C. That's where C is. G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, and C. And you got this note here, a D. And you can play with that too. You can... Uh, like ending on the C seventh and that is a five five three and on my companion video I do a C sharp seven to C seven it's a nice way of ending it's a great little phrase I mean it's a two chord phrase but it, it's really really sweet you know so uh, like that you can always add these little embellishments and flourishes once you once you learn the song start playing with these flourishes audiences really really like it this is uncle mark in the mothership thank you so much for everything you do for me i do have a paypal link here down below it's a paypal.me forward slash uncle mark tips thank you for everything you do for me i do have a uh facebook page at cigar bx blue and uh, as always a buck a show is all we ask and I told you I would show you the settings on this cube here. So uh, let me do that. These are the settings on the cube. And uh, as you can see, I'm on that Brit combo. My gain is minimal. My tone is dimed. And I've got a little more reverb there than I normally have. I'm about halfway on the dial for the reverb there. So I really like that for these rockabilly-ish 50s tunes. I think that reverb is, is just really, really nice. So uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for everything you do.